hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making tacos yes so excited now before we get started i wanted to give a big shout out to cost system cs for sending me this pressure cooker air fryer combo it has over 21 different settings between pressure cooking and air frying now all you have to do is switch the tops and you can go ahead and go back and forth between those settings now today we're going to be using the pressure cooking setting to make these tacos i'm going to leave all the information on this device in the description box so you guys can go ahead and grab it before it sells out because this one is a must-have in your kitchen all right guys so I have four bay leaves a whole onion about eight to ten cloves of garlic and three pounds of beef chuck here now this is beef chuck roast I did already clean it off camera with a little bit of lime salt and vinegar and rinsed it off so we're gonna add all of this to our pressure cooker um, I already added three to four cups of water um, to the pressure cooker and then I'm going to go ahead and add in a generous amount of salt. Now I close the lid to my pressure cooker so now it's time to actually cook it. I went ahead and pressed the pressure cook button on the pressure cooker and I set my timer to an hour and 30 minutes. Now, depending on your pressure cooker, you can go ahead and do anywhere between an hour to an hour 30 minutes. But for this specific one, I went ahead and did an hour and 30. Alrighty guys, now for our chilies, I have 12 California chilies, two pasilla chilies, four puya chilies, and six chile de atbol. Now guys, be careful with the chili dad bowl. Those are the small chilies that you see on the plate. Those chilies are spicy. Now, I felt like this was a perfect amount for um, the amount of meat that I have. But if you guys are sensitive to spice, add less, add about three. But if you don't mind spice at all, go ahead and add more. Now, I also want to say to my Spanish speaking viewers, if I went ahead and butchered the pronunciation of those chilies, I apologize. Okay, I'm Haitian. I don't speak Spanish much, so I apologize. Sorry. Um, but now I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all the seeds from the chilies, rinse them off, and put them on the pot to boil for about 30 minutes so they can get soft and we could uh, blend them up and add them to our meat. So now that our chilies are boiling, Let's go ahead and start on our seasoning. I have a tablespoon of cumin, a tablespoon of oregano, three bay leaves, four cloves, a tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds, about eight cloves of garlic, two chicken bouillon cubes, a thumb size amount of ginger, and two small tomatoes that I went ahead and chopped up for you. So once you have all of this in your bowl, guys, go ahead and put that to the side until your chilies are soft and ready to be taken off of the stove. So the timer went off on my pressure cooker, so now it's time to blend the chilies and our seasonings. So you're gonna add all of the chilies to the blender. You're also gonna add all of your seasonings that we went ahead and put to the side in the blender as well. Now, you're also going to take about two to three cups of that beef broth that was um, cooking the, the beef chuck. And you're gonna add this in there as well. That way everything can go ahead and blend together well.
Once your chili mix is blended and smooth, we're going to remove the onion and the bay leaves from the pot and strain our chili mix into our pressure cooker. When that's done, I press the meat stew setting on the pressure cooker and we're going to let our bear start to boil. When it starts to boil, I add 1 fourth cup of vinegar and let that boil for 20 to 30 minutes until the sauce reduces and gets thick. This is also a great time to check to make sure your mixture has enough salt, enough pepper, or whatever seasoning um, you would like to add to it. Now this is what your burger should look like once it's all done and the sauce has reduced and thickened. We can go ahead and start to assemble our tacos now. I'm just gonna go ahead and shred the meat and get my corn tortillas and my um, mozzarella queso ready. to assemble the tacos I just have my corn tortilla here and my queso mozzarella if you don't have queso mozzarella you can use regular mozzarella I just went ahead and dipped the tortillas into the barrel mix and cooked it for about two minutes on the first side then I went ahead and added the queso mozzarella uh, waited for that to melt a little bit I added a little bit more of that sauce on top then I went ahead and added the uh, the shredded beef, the onions, and the cilantro. And I cooked the taco for another two to three minutes or until it got pretty crispy, until like that sogginess was gone. Um, and then after that, you guys are gonna see me plate everything together. So we're down to the final steps. The sauce that you see me pouring now is just the sauce from the meat. This is our consomme. I'm gonna add some onions and cilantro to it. Put it on the side so we can dip our tacos in. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.